I'm on a quest to find the best RSPS in the scene. Each episode of this series starts out like this. We spin a glorious looking wheel filled with different servers. Whatever the wheel lands on will be the server I review today. The way we're going to be ranking these servers are by five categories. Layout, uniqueness, progression, mini games and events. Now we've got all that out of the way, let's spin that wheel. Hello boys, it's that time we're about to spin the wheel. You will have to ignore the hair at the moment. Yeah, I, I need a haircut. All right, let's see what server we're gonna play today. Mirage RSPS. Okay, okay. I'm actually pretty excited. I believe this is the server Diddy did a video on not too long ago. Yeah, it looks like he uploaded four days ago. Oh right, yeah, I'm down to give this a try. Okay, so today we will be checking out Mirage RSPS. A server I don't know much about, if I'm honest with you. I did see Mr. Diddyscape did upload a video like a week ago on it. And I liked what I saw, so I am pretty excited for this one. If you didn't know already, Mirage is a fairly new custom RSPS. And looking over the Discord, it does look like they've got a Halloween event at the moment. Which uh, i got to try out for myself. And we're online, people. Let's go. It looks quite packed at the moment. Hey, they weren't joking about the Halloween event. There's a pumpkin! As all these episodes will go, we're going to start out with the layout of the server. Alright, so straight up north, you can find all the shops it looks like. So my PVM tickets, high tier exchange, boss points, healer, all the things you need. What the hell is this wheel? The wheel of fortune. Gotta give it a spin, come on. Come on. Oh, ho, ho, we bagged it, boys. <laughs> Let's go. An account perks box. That is the best thing we could have got from that wheel. Hey, my RNG today is, uh, is flying through. Alright, so up west it looks like you've got the uh, the POS, the bank booth. Up here it looks like there's a hero portal. I have actually done a little bit of research and it looks like this is for the end game content. The way to become a hero is by becoming an assassin master and also you've got to sacrifice two earn items. Up south there's a pretty decent layout, all the altars together. Uh, you've got a weekly raffle here. You've got a crafter, a tiles manager, a pet forging and also equipment upgrades. Everything on the map is so easy to find, you should not get confused looking for stuff. And then up east, we're going to end it off with all the Slayer Masters. It does actually look like they've got Boss Slayer on this server. And you know me, I do love a bit of Boss Slayer. Other things in the map is the Well of Goodwill, which kind of looks like the Drama Alert logo. And it does also look like they've got a little Autumn event going on at the moment, so we might have to try that out at the end of the video. It shouldn't take you a while to find all the things you want, so for that reason and that reason only, the layout gets a 4 out of 5 stars. I think we're going to move over to uniqueness. What makes Mirage RSPS stand out from the others? I really do love the customization on this server. You can ride a goddamn dragon for Pete's sake. I also really enjoy their tile system where you can earn a tag next to your name to show off your accomplishments. Nothing major but small stuff like that really shows off the efforts from the developers to give an extra level of customization to the player. What? You're not a billionaire in real life? Well, don't worry, just unlock this tile and people will assume you're Bill Gates. I should also mention the ridiculous amounts of mounts and pets on this game. I'm fast as fuck, boy! All the NPC models look amazing, with each of them standing out, but all giving you that cartoon charm I can't get enough of. Well, minus Barilla. That guy gives me the creeps. You can even customise your gear exactly the way you want. Behind no paywall, what I'm doing now is completely free. It's by far one of the coolest things I've seen from an RSPS. Just for the insane amount of customization, I gotta give it four out of five stars. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't really comment on the progression, as I haven't really put too much time into my account yet. But what I can see from the guides on the Discord, there's a lot to keep you entertained for a long time. As I can't really say my take on the progression, we're gonna give it a solid three out of five stars. It does look like there's a bunch to do, from the hero portal towards endgame, to the stupid amount of upgrades you can do in-game. I think 3 out of 5 stars is very respectable. Alright, we're going to move over to my favourite part, the minigames. This is probably the most amount of minigames I've ever seen on an RSPS. Like, what the hell? I'm definitely going to try out a couple of these. The Dragon Ball Z Raid really stands out to me, as well as the pirate minigame, so... 
We're going to go through them together. What we are going to do is gear ourselves up with some pretty decent gear. I think that'll do. Uh, let's get my head into the Dragon Ball Z raid. I'm liking the map so far, so... Oh. Alright, we're going to attack these. We are one-hitting these bastards, but our HP is 52. So... Oh! That is one of the Halloween bosses. That is one of the Halloween bosses. This is not going to go well because we brought no food at all. We are definitely dying here, fellas. We are definitely going to die. We definitely died. I think we should be praying melee with these. It looks like that is probably the best alternative. I'm not going to lie. I've never watched Dragon Ball Z. So I don't know why I chose this raid in particular. It's pretty cool. That's another Halloween boss. Do we pull anything from the Halloween boss? Wow, oh, more Mirage tokens. Can't go wrong with that, though. I do feel like a lot of people in the RSPS community do love their anime. And there we go. That is the first raid. We got ourselves two raid boxes from that. You know what? I really do like this raid. It kind of reminds me a bit of the KH1 raid from Azurite, if you do remember that. Very fast paced. It looks like it's pretty AFK as well. And if you're an anime fan, this is the raid for you. The next mini game I really do want to try out is the pirate mini game. Again, I don't know what the hell this minigame is, but we're just going to wing it. Alright, so what are we meant to be doing on this minigame? I'm assuming we go to the chest. You don't have a master key. There's NPCs surrounding the chest. I'm assuming what you should do is kill all the NPCs. You do get a treasure key for that. And then what I'm thinking you can do after, maybe combine all of them, turn it into a master key. Let's see if I'm right. One hitting that bastard, no tomorrow. That one did not drop a key. It might not be uh, every single drop then. All right, it's a one out of two chance. We was uh, very unlucky with that. Key, key. All right, so we're on the last kill now and we're killing this badass. Fucking hell, he is jacked. Good night, sunshine. And he doesn't drop a key for us. Hadouken. Again, no key. Give me this key, boy. Give me this motherfucking key. Does this man just not drop a key? Fourth time's the charm. I swear to duckity duck fuck, if he don't give me the key now. Does this key exist? There we go. Thank God. Six kills that took. Alright, so with these, can we combine them all? We can, and that gives us a master treasure key. Alright, so yeah, it's essentially Barrows, and we get three PPM boxes. If you are a fan of the AFK Barrows type minigame, this is definitely the minigame for you. Yeah, with the solid amount of minigames, plus they have a full working gambling zone, I think five out of five stars is what it deserves. Obviously, we didn't go through all of them, so we definitely will be returning. I really want to know what Halls of Abba is. Yeah, there's still so many minigames I still have to try out, like the Gold Grinder, Assassin's Guild, Pirates minigame, the, the list goes on and on. And as we're always going to do on this series, we're going to end it off with the events. As of course, Halloween is right around the corner. A lot of these RSPSs are doing a Halloween update. With Mirage not being an exception, let's go over to the Discord and check it out. On the 10th of October, the Halloween event did release, bringing us a new Halloween battle pass. I believe the way to unlock this is by going all the way over to the Lumbridge Graveyard. And I'm pretty sure one of these should have it in. It's just finding it is the, uh, is the problem. I believe it should be this gravestone, but I think we may already unlocked it. It is meant to be in this one, but I think it's because I'm on a YouTuber account. I've already unlocked it. But yeah, just search this gravestone and you should have the battle pass unlocked. After you've done that, you'll now have a chance to spawn a random Halloween boss by doing anything in game, basically. I'm talking Slayer, I'm talking mini games, I'm talking PVM. Anything in the game will spawn you one of these bosses. Looking at the drop table, the best thing you want from these are the Halloween M boxes. We do actually have one of these to open for ourselves, so uh, wish me luck. Come on. I'm praying to get that little saw pet. Ah, oh, that is dear. That is the worst thing we could have got. Other items you can get from the box is this beautiful Halloween mount. And also this absolutely adorable Billy Pet. God, I do love a Saw movie. 
Looking over this event at the Discord, they do also have a lovely Halloween Global Boss. With a pretty decent drop table here as well. They have also added a new weapon for each attack style in the Halloween themed. The ways to get these are from the Battle Pass. And it does look like they also have dropped a new mini game called the Sand Warriors. In my very humble opinion, I'm going to give this a cheeky 4 out of 5 stars. Still a little things I would like to improve on, but all in all, a very good update. Alright boys, this is where we are going to be ending off today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Just before we end off, we do have ourselves a little giveaway. One member subscription and one season pass is going to one lucky winner. All you got to do is like the video and leave your IGN down below. Thank you all for watching to the end. I hope to see you in the next one. Adios. Bow down to me, self doubt has been drowning me. I've been doubting me, been blind, but now I see. Cause I can't let the world miss out on me. Nah, too special, too hungry for more. Been loyal, been ready for war. Yeah. Been patient, been waiting before. Now it's time for my fucking deplore. Ooh, am I sure what I made of? Just quit the day job. Don't need a label. I'm already major. Getting that paper, starting to make it. Special occasion, drinking it straight, no chaser. If you cut, I'm a